Well, I'm fucking bored, let's do another LEGO set. This is the 1974 Porsche 911 Turbo 3.0, part of the Speed Champions 2019 range. This car in particular has one interesting feature to know about it. If you look on the box right here, it's advertising the fact that you can drive this car in Forza Horizon 4. Yeah, but don't let this fool you into thinking that this has anything to do with the actual game though. Like, in, there's no unlock code or anything or something that I would have expected, but nope. It's just a little advertisement for the uh, LEGO Speed Champions DLC that was released right around this time of this set's release. Now this particular set is going to be a bit different for me, or on the recording side at least, because this set, as I'm showing it to you now in this video footage that I'm probably showing you, uh, it is still sealed, which means you'll get to see me pop the seal on the box and place all the stickers. Another interesting thing about the set is that the manual for it is quite a bit smaller, it's roughly half the size of the other Speed Champion sets I've done so far. I'm not sure if this is just for this particular line of sets in general, or if this is something that the LEGO group is actually going to be uh, applying to all their sets going forward, but it seems as though their manuals are getting downsized quite a bit to uh, make a lesser footprint on the environment, I would assume. But enough about that, the manual's on the table, the parts are spread, let's get to building. I was particularly excited to actually get this set because unlike some of the other cars that are part of the Speed Champions range or just any LEGO car in general, uh, this looks pretty damn close compared to its real life counterpart. It does look really nice in white, although myself I probably would have preferred it in, in beige yellow. Well, aside from the nerve-wracking procedure of wanting to place the stickers exactly right on their parts due to my extreme OCD, it was a pretty fun build if I do say so myself. Now, unlike a lot of other LEGO cars that uh, LEGO have put in their sets and ones I've put together over the years, uh, this Porsche actually sits quite a bit lower than you'd expect. And there's also a lot more friction on the wheels due to it not using Technic pieces for attaching to the actual vehicle. Although if you're planning to use this as a display piece, this actually works out in favour, being as it won't roll back and forth on your shelf all the time. If I had one complaint about this set, I guess the hairpiece for the minifigure was kind of unnecessary, being as you're probably going to leave the minifigure inside the car, or I will anyways. And the big whale tail spoiler on the back does tend to be a bit flimsy and can snap off rather easily if you apply just a bit of force. But again, if you're using this as just a display piece, these probably won't be of any concern to you. And of course it'll look great on your shelf. 
Thanks for watching.